Hi, everybody. It's Mike with Spray Jones. This is the kind of detailed stuff that we're learning about in thinksprayfoam.com, a private online community where we're advancing the knowledge of spray foam insulation. I'm going to ask you a detailed physics question. Can you make your gun go off ratio? Can you make your foam installation go off ratio by excessive triggering? Don't answer yet. Watch this and I'll come back at the end of the video to say what the answer is. This visible model mixing chamber shows that the two materials, here represented by red and green, are kept separate by a movable valving rod, which upon actuation of the trigger, withdraws from the mixing chamber and uncovers the material inlets, allowing the two liquids to simultaneously rush in. The injection force of the liquids as they enter the mixing chamber from opposite but slightly offset injection slots causes a combination of impingement and rotary motion of the liquids within the mixing chamber. This motion simultaneously mixes the two liquids and creates airless atomization of the mixture into a spray pattern. To shut the gun off, the rod is merely pushed forward to its original position, simultaneously valving the incoming flow of both materials as the rod slides past the injection slots and displaces or pushes out the remainder of mixed material, leaving the mixing chamber free of mixed material and ready for the next spray cycle. Simple answer is yes. When you have two products that are hammering on impingement mix at each other and you're creating constant disruptions to the flow, they are momentarily, albeit small, adjusting for ratio constantly. They're off, off, off. One side is always going to be slightly dominant than the other. This is why you want to get a continuous flow, get them on ratio, get it going out and not be excessively triggering. For more advanced answers, join thinksprayfoam.com where we're discussing this and other physics to make you a better installer.